So momentum depends on a couple of things. I'm going to try and erase these a little bit of time here. Um, so momentum depends on mass because that's what inertia depends on. Remember mass is the inertia part. And momentum also depends on how fast something is going. Um, and that's how it's moving. That's the motion part. Okay. And so when we talk about these things, more mass means that it has more momentum. And so when we talk about this with, uh, say, a sporting event, um, we're, we're talking, well, with the sporting event, this one doesn't make a whole lot of sense here. But when you think about objects that are, that, uh, that are moving, that have inertia, the more mass they have, the more inertia they have. And the more inertia they have, the more momentum they're going to have. So if you think about a big truck that is moving, it's going to have more momentum than a small car. It's going to be harder to stop. Um, a big truck that is heading toward you, that's going to be worse <laughs> when it hits you if it's a small car. Um, or uh, a person walking down the hallway, uh, um, a larger person is going to, to uh, is more likely to knock you down than, than a, a small child, right? Okay. Um, the same thing is true with velocity, though. The faster something is going, more velocity means they also have more momentum. momentum. This one is uh, a little bit more applicable with a sports team. The faster a sports team is making momentum down that field the, the, or across the court, um, the, the more momentum they have, the, the, the harder it is to stop them. Uh, they really get going. You really have to be lucky to kind of stop those guys, right? So, so and when you think about that with, um, if you take two of the same car and one is going very fast down the street and one is going kind of slow down the street, one of those is going to be harder to stop. One of those is going to hurt more if it hits you. Um, that's the same idea. So it is harder to stop a car when it is going very fast than one that is going very slow. Okay. So so that's that's what we're thinking about here with um, the momentum depending on mass and velocity. So 